This past year has been a strange time for all of us. The pandemic has forced us to spend more time at home, whether we like it or not. While some of us have been really lucky to be able to live a relatively normal life, there are many who weren't. Regardless of the situation, there are things that are still in our control. Our life at home. In this video, I wanted to share some tips and ideas on what we can do at home to stay productive, be happy, and keep our mental health in check. In general, each activity can be categorized into one or more of these categories. Simple routine. These are the things I did daily or weekly to get ready for the day, make myself feel good, or simply because I enjoy doing it. Productive. These are activities that progresses our life forward and brings us closer to our goal, whatever it may be. Self-care. The things we do to take care of our well-being. And fun. These are mindless activities that temporarily takes our mind away from any stress. Some activities, like working out, can fall into both productive and self-care. But for the sake of simplicity, I'll categorize them into one where I feel like is most representable of my personal lifestyle. First, the simple routines. The first thing I did every morning is making myself a cup of drink. A cup of hot drink during winter or a cold smoothie in the summer is always a great way to start my day. Despite working from home, I found that taking the time to get ready helps in getting to the right mindset. This means brushing my teeth, take a shower, do my regular skincare routine, and get dressed. A comfy pants or chino paired with a t-shirt does the trick for me. The idea is that when I dress up, it feels good and I'm more likely to approach my day with confidence and purpose. It also helps create a separation between rest and work. Since I'm spending more time at home, it makes sense to keep the space clean and tidy. I don't particularly enjoy doing housework, but I don't hate it either. Personally, I found by doing the little things every day, such as wiping the dining table after eating or taking out the trash, keeping a tidy place becomes much easier and less of a chore. I also like to put on some good music and do my housework on a nice sunny day to make it as enjoyable as possible. Next are the productive activities. Working from home can often get boring. To combat this, I found that switching up the work environment can sometimes help reduce boredom and get my creative juice flowing. Instead of staying on your desk the whole day, try taking your laptop and work on the dining table or the balcony if you have one. Learning a new skill is another way to spend your time at home. I started learning about videography and uploaded my first video to YouTube back in December. Little did I know, it became something I really enjoy doing. The 
during the lockdown, I also learned web design and started my own publication on minimalist architecture and interior design. For others, this can be picking up a new instrument, learn a new language, coding, or even life skills such as managing your finance. Learning has also never been easier. Today, there are many platforms where you can enroll to any class you like. I've personally used Skillshare to learn from experts I look up to such as MKBHD and Coursera to enroll in more traditional structured classes provided by world-leading universities. Even with technology, nothing beats the sound of paper and the smell of a new book. Reading is another way to expand your knowledge and a great way to get inspired. Working from home has definitely saved me a lot of time from commuting, but I've also found that my day can be less structured. Planning ahead or journaling has helped me to structure my day better and gives me a general idea on what needs to be done during the day without feeling overwhelmed. For the longer term, starting your own personal project can be a great way to have something to work towards and get yourself excited to wake up every day. Currently, my project is to grow my YouTube channel and becoming a better filmmaker. For others, this can be writing a song, a book, or even starting your own business. While it is important to stay productive, it is just as important to look after yourself as a healthy and nourished mind often translates to other areas in life. Where possible, I always aim for 7 to 8 hours of sleep daily. Put away your devices an hour before bed to avoid scrolling mindlessly on social media. Sitting at home all day can be detrimental to your physical health. However, there are plenty of workouts you can do at home. Bodyweight exercises combined with home equipment such as pull-up bars and resistance band is a great starting point. A hot bath or shower can do wonders for the mind and relieve stress after a long day. Play some music in the background to complete the atmosphere and let your mind drift off. It's cold Having a creative hobby that you are passionate about is a great way to spend your time while developing your mind. Personally, I enjoy interior design, so I spent quite a lot of time over the past year redecorating my apartment. There is a whole list of creative hobbies out there. Painting, dancing, cooking, pottery, art journaling, and graphic design to name a few. If you don't have one yet, here is a list of things you can consider trying. Don't be afraid to experiment and try. You don't have to stick to it if you end up not liking it. With the number of things constantly going through most of our life, sometimes it is good to take a step back and just do nothing. I like to call this my alone time, where I simply sit down on my balcony with a cup of drink and enjoy the view. 
Put your phone down and take the time to be present. Last, the fun activities. I like to spend some of my downtime watching movies or TV shows and occasionally a football game when the time zone permits. The key here is to consume in moderation and not let it take over other areas of our life. Board games are also a fun bonding activity if you happen to live with roommates or family. You can never go wrong with a game of chess or scramble. Those are some of the things I did at home to stay productive while staying happy and looking after my well-being. There are many more things out there that I may have missed, so feel free to leave a comment below and share your experience on how you like to spend your time at home. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.